Hi Marie here again. I'm back to share with you something I've been working on. Uh, I'm not sure whether I've finished it yet. I might add more. Um, but it's just something I wanted to try so I've given it a go so I just thought I'd share it with you. Um, I've taken a lot of inspiration from uh, Sagita. Um, you Probably a lot of you will know Sagita from here on YouTube or on uh, Junk Journal Junkies Facebook group. Um, so you might, you know, you'll see what I mean by taking inspiration from her as I go through. And also um, a couple of uh, ideas from Laurie, Laurie, Girl on the Ridge, and also Teresa LaFrance, um, just in the way they've... Um, well, with Laurie it was the putting book pages together to make a page, put three together, and then you may have a nice, um, a nice sound page. And also uh, Teresa doing some book page layering that I've seen her do on YouTube. Um, and so that's just my my version of those things, really. And in this um, journal, I've used some images from Elizabeth Smith, Mrs. Cog's Crafts. This is Elizabeth's series, um, Love Letters, which I've used quite a few in this journal to illustrate. Um, it's because it's that kind of theme, really. That was what I was thinking about. OK, and I've done the... Um, I've done it with with the rings, um, which I haven't used before. I just thought I'd uh, give it a go. And I think most people generally use two, but for some reason I use three. And once I'd once I'd started, I just uh, just went with it then, with the three rings. Anyway, let's have a look at um, the cover. The cover's made from. Um, it was actually the cover off a off like a kind of scrapbook album that I bought a while ago. It was just like a brown card. And it's filled with um, brown craft card, which I've used in here as well. But the cover's off that, and I just covered it with some um, some patterned um, patterned uh, scrapbook paper. And that just gives it a little bit more stability. Although I've covered it all up on the front, so it doesn't really show. But um, anyway, so on the front, I've done I've used the corrugated cardboard here because I've seen people doing that as well. And I think that's a really good idea. I just put the word journal, and this is around here is a vintage doily. And then here's a bit of um, bit of lace that looks quite vintage, but it isn't. And I think it's a it's like off a collar or something like that. Um, and then a paper flower that I made, and then a piece of vintage doily and a diamante in the middle. And here's another little corrugated card with a uh, with a brass key just sewn on there. Okay, let's go inside. So it's just a lot of layering, and there's some there's some sheets of paper. There's um, spots for writing, and also um, envelopes with journaling cards and bits of paper in and things like that. So there's some nice layering here with um, inked edges, and this is one of the images from Mrs. Cog's uh, Love Letters range. A piece of paper there's from um, I think it's Shabby Cottage Studio, and I printed that on some tea dyed paper. And here's an envelope. It's just um, it's book paper on either side, a bit of decoupage on that side, and some stamp in there. And one of my one of my little signature, or becoming like a little signature, the um, origami envelopes. There's also a, a journaling card in there. The love letters um, range. And here's just some layering on the book pages. Just three book pages uh, glued together. And then on the front is um, just some layering. This is kind of Sagita style. She just rips paper and layers them and some sewing around as well. And some staining around the edges. And here I've used some white acrylic paint just to give a writing surface. And some decoupage. Just a piece, uh, piece of tea dyed paper. Oh and here's an envelope. Another envelope. These were inside that I've taken them out. Um, on the front there's some more layering with the stitching, a little bit of lace, um, garment pin. And I've seen Sagita using um, some reinforcement rings that she punched out like this. And I thought that was a really good idea for reinforcing. I'm just not sure where the black goes here, but you know, it, it's okay. A um, couple of the journaling cards from the love letters. And here's just a little tea stained... Tea -stained Scrapbook, uh, scrap paper made into a little book. Just goes in that envelope. And on the other side, there's some more 
uh, just a ripped piece of paper just glued on some uh, little bits of linen fabric some lace uh, this is from Cameo Shop as well and again it's uh, printed on some nice tea dyed paper and here's the layering like uh, I've seen Teresa doing just layering up um, just layering up book paper it was just torn around the edge and uh, you know all inked on the edge and everything and then sewn around and this is one of the images from Mrs Cog as well um, I just think that's a really nice effect and I just um, took the the words love letters from the bottom of the uh, the printout and just put that there and uh, in there it's just a, it's a scrap paper for writing nice pocket at the back there and a, a tag I made out of some corrugated card with some um, take a page on the front that's an angel on the back is a little pocket and then there's just some extra paper for journaling on this side this was some packaging from uh, some stamps that I bought just thought it was a nice piece of packaging I just cut the top off when it had uh, you know the, the name or the price or whatever on so in the back of the um, there's a tag with some script stamping on another image from the Mrs Cox and another little notebook made of scrap paper and some brown paper on the front it was quite vintage oh and on the back of here I don't know if you can see it too well this is um, covered with tissue um, like a tissue wrapping paper so some angels that was given to me well I think when I did a swap I think that wrapped that was what was wrapped around the journal but I just kept it because I think it thought it was really nice and I thought I'd definitely use that again and I have used it a couple of times so never throw anything away and here's just a uh, a picture from a book the book I've been using to um, do the book pages is um, about Madame Pompidou uh, in the 18th century in France so just like that image of her and she's just sitting reading and um, just layered with some lace and some broderie anglais. On the other side there's some acrylic paint again. Just a piece of ripped paper with some stamping. Some decorative stitching. And the reinforcing rings again on here. And then this um, page. I printed. This is just. Um, I printed onto this brown craft card. This is some of Sagita's coffee stains. Um, papers. Uh, just makes a nice background print on there and just uh, embellished with a, a bit of linen and some pins and there's another one from the Mrs Cog's Love Letters and then the other side of that is another print from Sagita and you can write on there obviously and then there's some writing paper as well it's just ripped and layered again and just put the, some words romance and love just on there to embellish and on this side I've got the layered book paper again and some decoupage the angel and it's all um, inked around the edges just a piece of paper uh, some more book pages glued together make a little pocket with some um, decoupage little angels and some more ladies from Elizabeth's Mrs Cogs and um, that's just acrylic paint so you can write on there some decorative stitching and again, just a bit of acrylic paint for writing and a bit of stamping. And this is an envelope, just um, a piece of paper stuck on there. Um, Decoupage the little angel again. It's a bit of a doily. Inside this envelope is just, just a printout with some um, space to journal on the back. And then another, um, this is printed again for Sagita's coffee stains paper. It just gives a nice faint um, kind of vintage look printed on the brown, on the brown craft card, I think. And the same on the other side. And then here, just some layering again. There's a doily, some book paper. Another image from the Love Letters range. Uh, a tag. And another one of my little, little dinky envelopes. You could pop something in there if you wanted to. So yeah, so I say I'm not sure what I'm doing with this just yet. Um, oh, and on the back I've just done a pocket as well with some applique and just a tag in there. 
Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing with this yet, whether I'm going to add to it and keep it for myself or I don't know. It's just something I wanted to do. It's quite um, it's quite arty really. It's like you know, it's more like art. Uh, it's not something I've ever done before, so I thought I'll just uh, give it a try because I really like the look of them and I've seen them, the ones I've seen here on YouTube. Um, well, today I went shopping and I bought, just bear with me a minute, I bought a couple of things. I went in a local uh, charity shop and I bought these these books but this one is um, the love almanac now inside here oh, that's the cover inside is loads of like uh, quite quirky like vintage images and things and that might be quite good too it's all things to do with love and romance that might be quite good to use some of them pages in a journal Quite cool illustrations, really. So that's that. And then I also bought this, which is um, an Emily Bronte book. Just like the cover, it's in really good condition. So I might um, do an altered book with this. I have done an altered book before, and it um, I kept it for myself, and uh, I use that as a journal. But um, so I might try again. I mean, it's like a leather look. It's not leather, but it looks it's quite leather look, and it's in really good condition. So I thought if I could maybe do it as an altered book, that might work. Or I'll just take all the pages out and um, just use the cover. So yeah, so watch this space for them. So so yeah, that's my um, my take on the ring bound vintage journal. So I'll uh, see you all again soon. Bye.